With the release of the Watch 6 and the Watch 6 Classic in 2023 last year, it had us wondering where the Watch 6 Pro was in the follow-up device for 2022's Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Fast forward to now in 2024, and it all makes sense because we now have what is arguably the boldest watch from Samsung yet, with an even bolder name called the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here's our quick hands-on with the new Galaxy Watch Ultra. When it comes to the design of the Galaxy Watch Ultra, Samsung are not pulling any punches and definitely follows a new design that is somewhat familiar with elements of what we've actually seen before, but also completely new in every single way. There is what Samsung are calling a new cushion design, which uses their traditional circular shape for the watch face, which is also embodied in a squared housing. This is all done in the name of protecting the watch face against knocks and scratches, given a much stronger and more durable design. Speaking of durability, the Watch Ultra is crafted using grade four titanium with mil spec standard 810H against shock, and of course, IP68 water resistance down to a 10 ATM pressure rating. The design of the Watch Ultra also introduces a new quick button, which can be remapped, but also used to activate the new emergency siren that can go up to 85 decibels in volume and it's said to be audible in hearing from around 180 meters away. There's also a new dynamic lug system for a much more secure and easier fit with your watch band. Samsung is also confident in stating that the Watch Ultra has been designed and built for extreme situations and conditions with the ability to work in harsh outdoors at altitude ranges that range from 9,000 meters down to minus 500 meters and temperature ranges from 55 Celsius down to minus 20 Celsius. Now, whoever will be brave enough to push and test the Galaxy Watch Ultra in the real world to see if this is true is yet to be determined. But for now, this is one area we have to take Samsung's word for it until verified and proven otherwise. The Galaxy Watch Ultra comes in three colors, which are titanium gray with the orange band, titanium white with the white band, and titanium silver with the black band. The size of the Galaxy Watch Ultra is just one size at 47 millimeters. So it's a large watch on the wrist and it's really for those who value having a watch of that size and nature. I very much like the titanium gray and would actually swap the orange band with the black one for a much more stealthy look. But overall, this is a well-built timepiece that looks to tackle the extreme world. The display of the Galaxy Watch Ultra is using what Samsung are calling their brightest display yet on a Galaxy Watch device with a peak max brightness of up to 3000 nits. In the 47 millimeter size of the watch, it's still using a 1.5 inch circular all screen super AMOLED display with a 480 by 40 resolution at 60 Hertz with always on display support as expected. Coupled with a new night mode display feature that turns the display black and red for better battery life and more comfortable viewing experience at nighttime, minus not having any form of 90 or 120 Hertz refresh rate viewing on a smartphone yet, which would still be a dream, the display on the Galaxy Watch Ultra looks impressive. The Galaxy Watch Ultra is powered by Samsung's first 3nm chipset, the W1000 Exynos platform, which is said to be 3x faster than the previous model, with upgraded 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage, which is an increase compared to the previous Watch 5 Pro. It's packing a 590mAh battery, which from memory should be the same capacity as the Watch 5 Pro. Battery life is said to be much more improved thanks to the new 3nm chipset, and software optimization backed with the more efficient display experience. Software on the Galaxy Watch Ultra is running on One UI Watch 6 based on Wear OS version 5. With the very short and brief time we had with this hands-on session, which was actually spread across seven new products from Samsung and also a short hands-on period of about 45 minutes across the devices, not much could really be tested and especially showcased when it comes to the software side of things. So we will have to wait onto our review and it's coming for testing to really do so. That being said, a lot of focus was placed on the new features around the multi-exercise tile face, which should allow you to select the three activities you are working on and switch between them simultaneously when you start working out on each one. There is now also a new functional threshold power feature for cycling that allows you to train like a pro and maximize your performance and also a new race feature that allows you to compare your current and past performance in real time when training on the track with feedback from the Galaxy Watch Ultra. 
pricing for the Galaxy Watch Ultra in the UK will be £599, with pre-orders starting on the 10th of July and general availability from the 24th of July 2024. Be sure to also watch our hands-on with the Galaxy Watch 7, as most of the features do carry over into the Galaxy Watch Ultra as well. What's your thoughts on the Galaxy Watch Ultra? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.